all right guys welcome back to my video um today we are going to try some vegemite some bread and highly requested um bait of more cat food so i'm gonna do cat food in one trap and vegemite and bread in the other trap we're going to see if we can catch some really cool interesting fish out of here again maybe something different from what we caught last time even the other day i didn't really get to spend too long here the other day so hopefully today i can be here for a little bit longer um probably do three checks 20 minutes each check and hopefully we can catch some cool stuff i just got it all over my finger but the good old vegemite guys apparently this is like a wonder bait for um blue eye and rainbow fish so get those in there they're australian of course so i guess that's why they eat vegemite but got those in there so i'm going to put these in now um got this veggie mud on my hands but i'm going to put the phone on the tripod and quickly get these in all right so i've put the veggie mud trap in over there behind these reeds so maybe there's something in those reeds and i've got the cat food trap over there and there's a lot of fish hanging around it already so hopefully hopefully we can catch some cool stuff in here today today hopefully we can catch some cool stuff in here today guys wouldn't mind catching some of those rosy barbs because um we definitely need to see if there are pests in here like how many is in here maybe a crazy amount but we don't know i don't know too much about them i know they're egg layers i did a little bit of research after people commented and after i did some research myself so um we'll see if there's more in here we'll see if there's anything else in here i'm very interested to know what's in my local area all right, guys, gonna do the first check. It's been about 20 minutes. I've seen a couple of those orange fish hanging around. Hopefully we caught some. Oh, there's a mosquito fish. Whoa, it's full. It is absolutely full, guys. Let's get the camera. All right, guys, let's have a look in here. It's full. Um, what's this? An orange platy? Look at that. Orange. It's got an orange top. Weird. I th maybe that's what I was seeing this time. A couple of orange top platies. Anyways, I'm going to get some of these platies out and put them in the bucket. And I'm just going to dispatch the mosquito fish and maybe if there's some guppies in there again, I'll get those out as well. But we'll see. I don't know how well this is showing up on video, but those platies are orange on top. So it's funny that I'm seeing that as well as um, those other fish. Oh, it's a mosquito fish in there. That's a really orange on top platy in the water. But out of water, it sort of like loses its color. Where's that mosquito fish? All right, um, get here. That's kind of strange seeing so many platies around this area because I've never seen platies so close to home before. Or any fish really. Usually Gold Coast is like pretty clean from them, but you guys might be onto something with this cat food. I'll tell you that because that trap was loaded with fish. And I only got a handful of platies out and I just dispatched the rest of the fish. Oh, almost walked straight into that spider. St. Andrew's Cross or Weaver. Let's go check the veggie mite trap. It's um, it was only partially in water because it's not very deep there. So we'll see if we can change that once we get it in, throw it out again. But let's see if Vegemite is a goated bait. Oh my God, oh my God. Did you guys see that big fish on the side of it? That was huge, what the hell? Hopefully the camera picked that up. There was a massive fish on the side of it. And it's full of fish too. Oh, dude, did, ah, oh. he must have been just about to go on a trap. Surely you guys seen that. Oh, I'm going to grab the bucket. We need to reset that trap. That was huge, whatever that was. It could have been a gudgeon, could have been anything. Guys, I have no idea what that massive fish was that was on the side. It wasn't like massive, massive, but it was big for these sort of fish. So I don't know what it could have been. Let's see what we got. Hey, not so many platies in this one, more just mosquito fish. It's a platy. But, um, no Pacific blue eyes either in the last two pools. 
No more platies. One platy in there. This this side must be pretty clean of platies. Oh, we'll see if we can get it in a little bit deeper so both holes are under. There we go. That's the spot. All right, guys. Going to check this trap. It's been about 25 minutes. I'm sweating out here. It's bloody hot today. So... Got a lot of fish in here again. Oh, we got some orange fish this time. Let's have a look. Let it, let's have a look see at what we got. You guys might be right about the cat for today. Oh, we got a lot of fish in here again. We got some more of those bobs and look at the size of these platies. Damn. Damn, boy. Fat platy. We got some bobs here. Let's have a look. I think that, what were they called, rosy or cherry bob? I don't remember. Now, got a couple of those. Oh, one dropped out. Look at the color on these guys here. This one's like real yellow, and then these two are like real orange. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, he keeps flopping everywhere. Put these guys in the bucket, for sure. Boy, back in for another 20 minutes. Probably be the last check I do today. Don't want to be out here all day, but um, I got deed on this time, so I'm not getting bitten by mosquitoes. I just leave those mosquito fish in this time, but isn't it ironic that it's full of mosquito fish and there's mosquitoes absolutely hammering you out here? But yeah, check out this. Getting a good haul. Got a couple of those rosy barbs. Getting a bunch of platies now, so that's cool. Look at the color on this guy. These are even like brighter than the ones I caught the other day. Look at the orange on that. It's like, it's gorgeous. Damn. All right, let's go check the other trap. I've had the bucket this time. So I have to come back and get it. All right. All right, I try and just left the mosquito fish in there. I'll get them out at the end, but um, see if we can get it back out in that deep. Let's give it 20 more minutes and then we're packing up guys. Right, look at this haul. Look at the haul guys. Guys, there's just so much moving in this water around the trap. There is so much fish in here, so much going on in here. It must just be the perfect environment. And on my, I just seen something splash up over there. Like, honestly, there must be something bigger in here. And I, I don't know if I'm allowed to fish in here or not, but um, maybe next time I should bring a fishing rod and have a crack, eh? I'm interested. I'm interested. Like, I might get in trouble for doing it, but something big over there moved, and I mean, we can catch gudgeons on hooks and stuff like that, so who knows what it could be, but, you know, it could be rainbow fish. could be anything, can you guys? I'm intrigued, you know? I'm intrigued what's really going on in here. What, to what capacity is actually even in here? I don't even know. That's why I had to come. Curiosity got me. Like, I usually wouldn't put two videos out like so close together but i told you guys i'm back and i'm curious this place is really close to home so i'm just so interested on in what's going on but look at all the movement in the water and the cut there's there's colored fish in here guys there is genuinely colored fish there could be goldfish in here i might leave that trap here overnight tonight that's how just one because usually they get ripped up by eels and stuff. I know you leave them in overnight, but I might leave that in overnight, guys. I might do it. I did pick up the two new traps today. So there's a the potential. I might leave it in. All right, guys, this is it, the final check. Let's see what we got. Doesn't look like we got too much. Oh, what's this? Another orange fish? Oh no, another orange platy. Oh well, we've got some more platies in here. I don't see any other fish in here. No more of those barbs, but hey, if we leave this trap in here overnight, maybe we'll get some um, more. 
Maybe there is one, hold on. No, just more, more of these platies. Um, you know what guys, I'm doing it for you. I'm leaving this trap in, I'm gonna bring the other one. I'm gonna rebate the other one with more Vegemite. Um, I'm gonna put this guy back out and I'm gonna come check it tomorrow and do another video this week. doing it for my own curiosity but i'm also doing it because i know you guys watch my videos i know you guys came back after all the time i've been away with the whole complications and everything so i'm gonna load the other trap up with bread and, and veggie might but um yeah i'll do another video at the end of the week and we'll do an update on this i'm going to come check it tomorrow tomorrow or maybe we'll have something as you can tell, I'm sweating pretty bad. Been out here for a couple of hours now in the sun. Shouldn't be whinging about that because I'm usually in the heat working. And I am working. So. We got some fat platy. We got a few little platy and a big fat one there. I don't know if that's on camera. But look, we're dumping the bread in. We're filling the trap up with bait. So it's gonna last today, the rest of the day and the night. And we'll check it tomorrow. Get it out there. That was a terrible frog. I've got patties in my hands. I'm trying to kind of throw it and hold them at the same time. Very awkward trying to carry these patties and throw it out in the same time. But nevertheless, still got the patties. Chuck them in the bucket. Anyway, stay tuned for the end of the week, guys. I'll put the update video in, and maybe I'll stay here for a little bit longer if we catch something interesting. But if there's something really interesting, I'll pump it out probably the day after this video comes out. So, but um, and we'll have a better look at these on that video as well. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned.